So glad that you clicked on this video because we gonna live our best life. We gonna get lucky. You deserve it. Let's get started. <laughs> I've been doing a little bit of uh, self-discovery, you know, self-reflection. You know, it's it's good sometimes to pull up the mirror and have that inner view with you. And this experience offered me a thought, a reminder, and I realized, wow, I've been lucky. I've been very lucky in life. And why is that? You know, was it all chance? Then I started to notice the patterns, you know, the pathways, you know, uh, a way of being. And I realized luck is more than just luck. It's a skill. There is a way to cultivate more luck in our life. And that's exactly what we're going to do today. My name is Heinz. And today in hindsight, we are developing a positive mindset which is key to becoming, you know, a luckier person. Let me tell you, I basically used to identify as someone who had bad luck in the past. I was so superstitious. Anything negative that happened, I thought I did something bad. I thought the gods were mad at me. Let's just say I was young in spirit. I didn't know how things went or how the rhythm to life goes. And it happens. Wherever our energy goes, our attention flows. And I decided to shift my perspective back into a positive mindset. I am a firm believer that a shift in perspective can go a long way. And instead of identifying with the fact that I was experiencing a lot of bad luck, instead I saw myself as the solution. I am the very solution to my problems, I said. I am the very solution to my circumstances. I can create outcomes that align with who I truly am. I want you to say that with me because on this channel, we more we, we, we don't just talk. We, we create a community aspect. We create a sound experience. So say with me, I am creating positive outcomes that align with who I truly am. You see how good that feels? The great I am. So we're going to start to develop that trust with our intuition. How do we do that? Well, in my own experience, you know, you just got to test it. Test your intuition. Far too often we question it, right? We're scared of it. We become scared of ourselves because we fear failure. But failure is the foundation. It's a nutrient, you understand, for our own soil. Every amazing invention has gone through a series of failures. So to develop our own intuition, we will have to take that leap of faith and test it. Get to know our own inner voice. When you feel that urge, see what it's saying. See where it takes you. And over time, you will learn to discern and trust that voice and discern if your motives are rooted in your heart or if they're coming from your ego. And through self-discovery, our journal practices, and having a deep, intimate relationship with life, we have more knowledge of self, which means we have more trust with ourselves, don't we? Think about your friends and family, the ones you've had a lot of experiences with. That determines your trust levels, doesn't it? You know, I have friends I've been friends with for like 20 years and I trust them with my life. That's the level of trust we can develop on our journeys, which will pivot us into the position that our soul desires. So we have to open ourselves up, open ourselves up to the limitless of experiences that are waiting for us to step into. Because source, the universe, whatever you call it, we're not political over here, is ready to bless you if you are willing and willing to take risks. Because 
lucky people, they take risks. You understand? Like every person I've recognized in my life who seems to be very lucky and myself, they take risks. But I don't really see risks as a risk. I see them as opportunities. I see them as opportunities because even if you fail, that's just a lesson. Again, that's just some nutrients for your foundation because failures are necessary for our foundation. And if you achieve, well, there's a bonus, right? Now you're going to have more belief and you can take that momentum and continue to journey in grace. You know, I was having a tea the other day with a friend and I was having a herbal chai tea latte. Let me tell you, divine, absolutely divine. And he expressed to me, my friend, he was having a coffee, whatever, but he expressed to me that he got an opportunity and I was like, yes, tell me. Now, it's important that we root for our friends, right? Because we love it when they root for us. So I was like, tell me, you know, getting excited and everything. But then he expressed how someone wanted to hire him to shoot some behind the scene photos at a at like a movie set, but he turned it down. I'm like, what? Like, I'm, I'm trying to root for you here. And now you're telling me you're turning down opportunities. And he's like, yeah, well, I, I feel like I lacked experience. And I was like, but your photos were good. You have all the equipment and the client liked your work enough to offer you the position. Now, that opportunity potentially would have positioned him to step into more luck since he would be in an environment full of directors, producers, and other creatives. You see, lucky people position themselves to receive. Lucky people position themselves to receive. Lucky people do it afraid. You know, we're all afraid to do new things. We're all afraid of new opportunities. You know, sometimes we feel like we lack the confidence. We're afraid. People go on stage, they're afraid. But we have to just do it afraid. Now, I'm good and bad at this. There's things I have no clue on how to do. I was afraid and I did it regardless. Mm, and it benefited me. And there's times where I was just too comfortable and I tricked myself up out of opportunities. And I still question, like, where would that have led me? You know, I remember one time I got an opportunity to shoot a video for an artist. Now, about nine months before this opportunity, I literally said to myself, I will shoot a video for her. Like, I just loved her flow, her image, everything. And she was signed to Universal Records, and I had no connection to them at the time. But through my hope, my belief, my skill, like every day working on my skill, working on my craft, being resilient, and yeah, because I have a faith-based system, I got lucky. And the opportunity came to me. The exact person I said I wanted to work with had no idea how I would do it. It, it fell in my lap. Now, we got on the phone. We talked about it. I'm talking to Universal Records now. You know, I'm, I'm new in the game. And they're like, send us over a video treatment and we'll see if we like it. And if so, you got the job. I was like, great. Hung up the phone and I went on Google and I was like, what is a music video treatment i had no idea but i wasn't i literally had no idea i didn't know what it was i was shooting videos but i didn't know what a music video treatment was now a music video treatment is basically like a video script painting out the vision that you're going to give them so they can understand how you're going to direct this artist and what the video is going to be like and the budget and all of that i had no idea how to do this but i wasn't going to pretend like i didn't know and spoil the opportunity that i felt was an opportunity of a lifetime so I was willing to just binge out all night and learn. And that's exactly what I did. I wrote the treatment. I sent it over. And guess what? I got the position. I shot the video and that video brought me so many opportunities, which developed a domino effect of what I could say just luck in my life. It was like thing after thing after thing after thing. People were like, yo, God is on bro's side right now, <laughs> you know? But again, luck is a way of being. If you want to be lucky, you have to use the power of your will to journey through those nerves, that anxiety, that fear, and go for the things that you truly want. If you want to develop your own business, because I know a lot of us want to be entrepreneurs, and this is the era to do so. And the cool thing about now is if you want to start your own business, you don't even have to open up a storefront. You can do it online. You don't even have to see your clients. <laughs> you know, like you could be a total introvert and make your money online.
But what you will never know if it will come into fruition unless you trust your intuition and step into it. Cultivate that hope. Take that risk. You know, when I developed my um, reminder deck, I took a big financial risk. This is my first product. And everyone told me to do pre-orders because, you know, that's the safe way uh, of doing things. You know, that's what a lot of people do. But I wanted the customer to have a very smooth experience. So I put up all my money up front, developed it for a whole year, paying an illustrator, paying another person to develop the project and waited a year to put it into market because I wanted people to be able to buy this and get it as soon as possible, not buy it and then wait six months. So I took a risk with the hope, just the hope of making my money back, but really just bringing my community something that is very special to me. And luckily, well, Things are working out. You know, people are purchasing it. And with the help of our sponsor, Shopify, they gave me all the tools to develop my website and run this e-commerce business. They offer an easy to use all-in-one commerce platform for anybody. You can start, grow, and manage your business today regardless of experience or technical abilities. There is so much opportunity. I personally didn't have any experience, but with Shopify, they let you sell online, in person, and on all major social media platforms. You know, I have the reminder deck connected to my Instagram. I have it connected to my YouTube. They have made selling my creation easy, and I'm having a lot of fun in the back end, learning about where my orders are coming from, learning new plugins, how to optimize my system and performance and serve my community better. And let me tell you, this year is the year of entrepreneurship. For all of us that wants to get started, we're going to do it. No more procrastination. It is a mindset. And with Shopify, any business of any size can adapt and pivot to meet new realities of retail. I truly believe we are in the golden age of starting a business from our own passions or whatever it may be. My friend, you can do it from your phone today. So I want to hook you up so you can start your free trial of Shopify today at shopify.com slash Heinz. Get that side hustle or business started. Let's go. Now, luck requires preparation. You understand? Being in a position to receive mentally, physically, and spiritually, because, you know, we love the matters of the spirit on this channel. Guilty. But that's why our self-love and our self-care routines, the things that we are doing today, the work we are doing on ourselves, the healing, the joy, all of that is cultivating an opportunity to be in the space to receive what's coming and we can receive it with grace. Proper preparation prevents poor performance. Let me say that again. Proper preparation prevents poor performance. I remember one time I was... Uh, filming in Mexico uh, for this band, like the coolest band I've ever met. And just like so much raw talent it was one of the best times of my life. Some of my best memories. And while I was there, um, a famous person actually DM me on Twitter and they're like, that let's work. That's it. They just said, let's work. <laughs> and I didn't even believe it was them. And I checked, I'm like, oh, verified it is them. But I was in Mexico, you know, working with another band. So, I, you know, I was focused by what I was doing because wherever our attention goes, our energy flows. And it's important that we are present in our experiences and focused. So I put that to the side and I didn't even respond. Now, I had so much fun freelancing in Mexico and just doing this, you know, creative collaboration and being on the go that I didn't want to go home. But I had to, you know, I had responsibilities. I had no money. You know, I had to go home. So when I got on my flight to go back to Canada, the announcer on the flight said, hey, this flight is over capacity due to wait. So if a few people get off the plane, well, wait for the next flight. We'll give you a voucher of like a few hundred dollars. It wasn't a lot, but I was like, you know what? Why not? This is a few hundred dollars. I could definitely use this at some point in my life. Let's take the voucher, wait three hours for the next plane. So I did so and I went home. And when I went home, I just was like not wanting to be home, you know? I had that travel bug in me and I'm like, hey, let's hit back that famous pop star that hit us up. So I replied, let's get it. Cause you know, he said, let's work. And then he hit me back saying, come to LA, that's it. Now I've never been to LA. And to be honest, I had no money on me and I didn't want to ask him, okay, well fly me to LA. 
because I'm just not that type of person. You understand? I'm a man. You understand? I, I like to take care of things on myself. Even, you know, I just wanted to take care of things myself. So I was like, listen, let's see how much the tickets are. Boom. The ticket was $6 under the voucher that I just received. I had exactly enough to book this flight. I booked the flight, messaged him back and said, I'll be there Friday. And the next thing you know, I was touring the world with an international platinum selling artist. That is wild. That is lucky. You cannot predict that type of stuff. That is luck. But there was preparation involved. There was risk involved there was hope involved there was trust involved let me tell you i went to la hopped out of that airport didn't even know where i was going i had no address i didn't have no one picking me up either he never we never made a plan we we never even got on the phone i just went to la but I, my intuition said go so when i got there i text him i'm like hey i'm i'm at the airport he texted me the address said take a taxi to this address i did Still, didn't know where I was going, pulled up to a mansion in the hills. And I was like, okay, this is our next step. We went from our mom's basement to Mexico shooting some random crazy rock star group. Well, they weren't rock stars at the time, but to me, they were rock stars just because they were so talented, but they weren't famous or nothing. But then I came back home and now I'm in Hollywood Hills in a mansion with an international selling platinum pop star. You can't make this stuff up. You really can't. It was, it seems like pure luck, but there was so much trust, so much trust. My intuition simply said, don't worry. And like Bob says, everything is going to be all right. You see, lucky people, they put themselves in these positions. They are resourceful. They build bridges. Something I've learned and, you know, I, I, I got to continue to become better at, but every person you meet, is a bridge. Every single person you meet is a bridge, regardless of who they are, important or not. You never know who they might know or what they might know. You see, lucky people maintain relationships. Unlucky people burn bridges, <laughs> you know, burn bridges. You know, they toss people away when they no longer serve them, but lucky people know how to maintain relationships and they live by a high moral code. They have respect. They have honor. They are of service to others. You know, it's been the most random people in my life who has prevent, who has presented me the most beautiful opportunities. I've traveled the world and really I haven't flown myself to many places. Is other people that flew me to places. And again, luck, but skill, preparation, you understand, taking risks. So I always say, never discredit anybody. You simply never know. So put into practice building bridges because every person is a connection because every individual is a potential pathway to somewhere your soul may want to go. You know, I'm in the process right now of, um, you know, getting a work visa for the United States. And so I just want to cross freely from Canada and America, you know, position myself for more opportunities since, you know, the industry that I am in. And this whole visa process is basically based on referrals. It's on who I know, what I've done, and my relationships. People need to vouch for me. And it has even heightened the importance of relationships for me because I'm like, wow, these are truly bridges. Lucky people have a network. Lucky people can pick up the phone. Lucky people get calls because people respect them, love them, and present them with opportunities. You see, being lucky is a way of being. It's a way of being. Yeah, like, it's a way of being. Now, some people are born into privilege and all that, but even if you weren't, even if you were dealt a poor deck of cards, you can still position yourself in life to receive and open yourself up to opportunities. And that's why I'm a firm believer in self-discovery and just doing the work on ourselves and getting to know ourselves because I believe we become a magnet and just attract opportunities. It's a way that we prepare ourselves and then God, the universe, whatever, can do the rest. You know what I'm saying? So to me, it all starts with a positive mindset. And that's why in hindsight, you don't know everything is going to be all right. You, my friend, you are 
the luckiest individual in the world. You have life. You have a gift. You've been given an opportunity and the fact that you are here is luck in itself. So take charge, take life and make it to whatever you want it to be. Mm. There is so much for you. And I am so excited. Thank you for tuning in with me. I am lucky that you came and sat here with me today. So I'll see you soon.